and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing some DIYs with some wine bottles. I'm so excited. I have, I kinda got all the stuff off the sides of these, except one of them, which somebody drinks some um, expensive wine because this is like not coming off. But that's really okay because I am going to do a couple DIYs. I'm really excited. I'm also making tiki torches. This company called Lanmu, I think is how you say it. Land me. Okay, we're just gonna go with that. Sent me these wine bottle tiki wick kit, which I was so excited about because I love doing DIYs anyways. So anything that I can make or whatever, repurpose, like I'm all for it. So I was really excited. And they also sent me this wine bottle tiki torch kit. So this one comes with like a little thing you mount, which I'm pretty excited about this. I think I'm gonna find a piece of wood. This is honestly, this video is only gonna be, you know, six, seven, eight minutes long. I don't know how long, but it's gonna probably take me three days entirely to make this video because there are so many ideas I have that I just like, I'm like just really excited about this one. Because one, I had to beg for like four days for wine bottles from anybody I knew because I don't know, I don't necessarily drink wine, but I was like, I have to do this DIY because this is so cool. So if you drink wine, this is like the thing for you. So it, okay, so what it comes with, it's like a kit, so you get three of each. So you get three of these wicks that you would stick inside the wine bottles, and then you get the little cap. Okay, and then also comes with three of these that you put on to the wick, and I will show you how that works. But I'm going to get going. I'm gonna use a lot of Dollar Tree products to repurpose these wine bottles. So I'm super excited about that. They're gonna look so stinky cute. And so even if you want to reuse these for something else, you will be able to, but I'm going to get going. I'm gonna incorporate this with fall decor and I'm so excited. So I thought I would make these wine bottles like super fun and fallish. I really want to decorate my patio out in the backyard. It is like so plain and I've been dying to do this. So honestly, I think having some of these review videos to do really get me going and actually do projects that I've wanted to do around the house forever. But I have a bunch of twine and some nautical rope flowers, burlap. I just grabbed a bunch of stuff and just decided what I wanted. This one, my mom must drink the like $9 bottle of wine instead of the $5 bottle of wine because this would not come off. Like the plastic or the paper would not come off. I don't know if it was like super sealed onto this glass, but it wouldn't come off. So I thought for this one, I would just wrap this whole entire bottle with nautical rope and I was just piecing it all together because I had like a bunch of leftovers. So it wasn't actually like a full thing. So I'm not sure how many this actually takes. I want to say probably close to one and a half or two um, things of it, but I made it work. I didn't obviously wrap it all the way to the top because these are going to be torches. These are tiki torches, so they're going to flame at the top. So I was really paranoid about even lighting these because I had twine and I had rope and everything. This one, I am just taking spray adhesive and I am being so careful, you guys. I have a little piece of cardboard down and I sprayed it like so lightly so it didn't get all over like it usually does. And then I'm just going to wrap twine around the bottom of this one and then just add a cute little yellow flower. I just, for some reason, I was like really feeling these yellow flowers. So that is what I used. <laughs> and then this one, I'm just doing the same thing except I'm just going to um, wrap twine around the middle of this bottle. And that's it. Like, I made these super easy, but they look so cute and they look so folly. And it only costs a couple dollars, especially when you're repurposing wine bottles. Come on, guys. Like, this is such an inexpensive craft. I use these red flowers. I don't know why I even started using them. I thought I could, like, piece them together and make them wonderful, but no, totally couldn't. And then I decided to change out this flower because everything was yellow and I wanted something a little bit different. And I just love how these turned out. They are so stinking cute, guys. And like I said, like it only cost one, two, two dollars to actually make three of these wine bottles. I made some of these for my wedding a few years back. Not exactly like this. I used like our colors, but I love these. And now I'm just putting the wicks in and Obviously, I had to take them out afterwards, but I just wanted to see how they looked, and they look so pretty. Uh, I can't get over this. So I decided to add vegetable oil and lemongrass essential oil to these. I heard, or I didn't hear. I totally read this on Pinterest. It was like a Pinterest hack, 
And a vegetable oil actually does not burn. I kept these in overnight before I even lit them because it said let all the oil soak up into the wick for about two hours. And this did not work, so I actually had to eventually dump this out and then just use, um, I think I used lamp oil or whatever, to burn these because the vegetable oil was not burning these at all. So that was a trial and error for me. But it did say that if you use lemongrass, it is supposed to keep the mosquitoes away once you burn it. So I was so excited. And then now I just took a piece of board and I'm mounting the Tiki Torch mount onto here. Just because I didn't want to mount it to our house because I'm just so, I don't know, I'm just so paranoid like about putting holes into my siding. It really bothers me, especially because I know how much siding is. So <laughs> I just didn't want to do that. But I thought this was so cool because I really wanted to um, make my porch or our patio. I call it a porch, but I wanted to make our patio look really cute in this corner. It was so bare and so empty and we didn't use mulch this year over here because my husband wants to redo our patio since it's kind of sinking and kind of getting messed up in some places. So we didn't add mulch because we just kind of want to fill this in. But for now, it was just so grungy and ugly and gross looking. So I just kind of flipped up some of this dirt and stuff. And we did have some mulch from a long time ago. But anyways, I'm just like super rambling. But anyways, I want to make this look so cute. I got this wagon wheel a few years ago from Tractor Supply. And then that chippy chair, I actually got it for like 10 cents at a garage sale. So it was so exciting. And then those are, oh my gosh, what I was, marigolds, those would be coming up. We plant them with seeds and it's just, they come up like crazy. And then I just added a little lantern that I got from Tractor Supply and I actually made that fall sign last year and I just think this corner looks so cute and it just, ugh, and this little tiki torch is just adorable. And then I wanted to give our table some sort of decor on it and I got this tray from Tractor Supply for only $7 and then the lantern and the little goat barn for $6 at Meijer and then I just added these wine bottles and I think this looks so nice you guys. But that is it for my video and thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for Landmoo for sending these wine bottle tiki torches. I absolutely love them. So make sure you go check out the links in the description box below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!